This is Jarbon from the Predatory Lending Network talking to you. Now we're here at Anime Expo 2011. Now one of the key issues that young people today are having is the tough time finding work and employment. Now I'm here with some young people asking them about the current job situation that they are in and some of their friends are in. Now, um, sir, how is your various employment situation with young people? I know it's kind of tough for you guys finding work these days. Uh, well, actually, I've I've been in a business called Loxart, um, so I'm kind of employed. But but kids, they do need jobs for getting around for school and stuff like that. So yeah. Now, how is the particular situation with youth unemployment with you guys? For me. Mm, I just think it's kind of lame how like a lot of people, like kids wise, like we can't get jobs because of our age and we're always like discriminated, like, oh they're so young, they don't have experience. Well it's kind of like, well if you gave us experience we could go further into like, I don't know, helping your business or other workplaces. Mm, yeah. <laughs> now how's your particular employment situation? I know it's kind of challenging for young people for finding work these days. Yes, um, a lot of searching, lots of rejection, but you know, you keep trying again and again and sometimes, you know, you start your own business, like some people, like we have actually started our own business, Loxar.com, but uh, definitely a lot of rejection, a lot of trial and error, and you just have to be very determined and uh, try again and again. And well, getting a job nowadays is actually really difficult, especially here in California. So once you do get a job, you definitely want to stick with it because when you quit or you get fired, very difficult nowadays. But just kind of like, as Flandre said, just got to keep on trying, just keep on going. Okay, um, now what can we do to actually help the youth uh, actually find work these days? Uh, well, you could advertise, I guess. like. Loxart does. <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta plug your business. Good work. Um, yeah, advertisement is like great. Like, also, not only should it be like jobs trying to like give out jobs for teens and stuff. It's like teens should also try and look. Like, and also apply even if like the requirements don't exactly fit you. It doesn't hurt to try. So even if you get rejected, at least you tried. Yeah. Also, I think. Um, Experience such as volunteering and uh, after school activities helps you kind of uh, build confidence and uh, stuff like that for you to be more prepared for an actual job. You know, pretty much everything that the two of them, the three of them said is, you know, they got it down. Just just because somebody rejects you once and says sorry, not what we're looking for, doesn't mean you should just stop. Just try everything, even if it's something that might not be in your field or what you want to do just do it and then work your way up you get back as much as you put out yeah <laughs> now do you have any particular things to help you stand down in the job market and actually make you appear above and beyond the rest of the employees uh well just do your best and uh work your hardest i guess um definitely having a positive and good attitude that's that's like really great <laughs> Um, like I said, giving 110% good attitude, like she said, and uh, being eclectic with all your different abilities. I agree with them. I honestly, <laughs> I know that I'm the last person, but that's pretty much everything. Yeah. Um, now, typically, young people are better at technology than some of the older workers, and a lot of people concentrate on education of our youth. But our older workers are actually suffering too. Once you get in that, you know, near 40 years old it's also tough for older workers to find work now um, do you see any possible ways for people of all ages to actually help find work so you know all people can find work better I was also thinking maybe like kids could help the elderly learn how to use computers so everyone knows so everyone can get a job easier any tips for workers of all ages um I don't know it's kind of hard to say because like ages like even though we don't want to say it or admit it like it does kind of matter in a sense but i think it's just like all we've all been saying like just never give up like it might the times might be hard like even if you just have like a part-time job or a full-time job or a low-paying job or whatever it's it's just good to never give up and like lose hope or anything um i say no matter how old you are you never too old to learn so 
even though maybe we have an advantage because we're more exposed to technology, older people can also use it, but they also have other skills and more wisdom that we don't, so it's, it's a trade-off. Yeah, that's true. I was, I was about to say the same thing, but also, just because you're older or younger, be um, adjusted to everything in this culture nowadays, you know. Older people can just get familiarize yourself with everything and, you know, hang out with all sorts of people because you learn so much from them. So take that and go with it. Okay, real quick, any closing statements? Uh, try your hard, get a job. Do your best. <laughs> Give 110%. <laughs> Everything they said plus 5,000%. <laughs> Alright, so I'm closing. This is Jarbon from the Predatory Lending Network talking to you.